welcome back to a new vlog thank you so much for being here my name is alex and this is my channel i am so excited i feel like i say this every vlog i'm so excited to create you another video but i think with everything else that i do um, outside of my youtube work this is like my relaxed space and that's why I get so excited to create content for you guys because I just really enjoy it. Today is a really fun day. I'm doing a shoot for a company that is seeking a model and I got the job because of a Insta friend Tree who I've, I think we've followed each other for a while now, like three years, but I haven't actually met him. So um, I'm excited to meet him today and I think he's got an intern coming along, which is slightly intimidating. Am I, am I prepared for this modelness? I don't know, I know I kind of share pictures of me on Instagram, like sort of model-esque pictures, but guys, I'm no means a professional model, like honestly, <laughs> let's put it plainly, um, but I'm really excited for the day. Of course I've done modeling, okay, I need to give you my modeling experience. My modeling experience is definitely my ballet work, which I don't know, I modeled for a few dancewear brands. And I've done a few like photography fashion shoots for some friends and then there's just my Instagram work that I do as well so maybe maybe I know a little bit about it but I'm not like a full-blown model yeah all right guys let's just get into this video a little OOTD these jeans these ones are from H&M and I've been looking for a pair of these like slouchy jeans I haven't been able to find like a nice pair and I saw these at H&M they are definitely gonna work out I also saw this cute little top which I'll take off in a second and what attracted me to this is because it is a slight wool blend which is amazing I think we get so caught up with like buying expensive things because we think the quality is there yes like this isn't cashmere by no means but I think it's a really good find and something that is going to last in your wardrobe if you really look after it this jacket was from country road now this one was a little bit pricier and this one is $500 which country road has really stepped up their prices recently but it's handmade and I can see the quality there and I'm so happy to buy it it's very nice and toasty because Melbourne is getting really nice and cold at the moment I'm so excited your outfits tend to be a little bit more fun because you can you can just add more things on this little bag is from anthropology so this isn't Bottega so not like my last video my last like lifestyle vlog that I showed you my new Bottega that I bought but this one is from anthropology this bag it inspired me to buy a Bottega bag but this has been serving me so so well and yeah just my standard summers down here which you guys see I'm trying to find a new pair of runner that is my everyday kind of signature because I think the summers like they're so comfortable and I do love them here's this cute little knit top that I have underneath Oh, someone just messaged me. Um, as you can see as well that, yeah, it's actually such adorable little number. And it has bell sleeves too, which I absolutely love. It makes it a little bit more girlier, especially because I'm wearing these really baggy jeans. I went for a size 34, um, which is about a size 6, but I probably could have went a size down if I was being like really picky about size, but they definitely do run big. So keep that in mind if you find them on H&M. I did my hair today and I've done my makeup today as well, which I hope the photographer likes. To be honest, I've just done my everyday makeup just to keep it nice and simple. And I know I feel comfortable in that. I just realized that I had like all this in the backdrop of that clip. It really annoys me when I have things in the backdrop. But we might as well discuss what the backdrop was. <laughs> got these gorgeous flowers, which I got on the weekend. This is my favorite vase. We have my dish detergent, Ajax spray and wipe. Creeping over here is the Marvelous Creations with the round white chocolate with M&Ms and marshmallows and popping candy. It's actually bomb, I love it. <laughs> Thank you. 
guys i am back home i had such a beautiful morning i uh, felt really comfortable with the team as well so that was tree and his intern and then we also had the company itself that we were creating the content for so yeah it was just such a really great day we shot really quickly it was probably one of the quickest shoots that i've ever done and that is always great because it makes me like switch on be there but also um feel quite comfortable it's nothing worse when things kind of drag a little bit and i know me personally you kind of get a little bit tired and stale and you start to overthink things but yeah it was really so much fun but anyway I am actually going back to the country <laughs> to my hometown which is in Ballarat so that's where my parents are quite often when I go back to Ballarat it's for like half a day I stay there the night and then come back the following so I've got a few days off so I'm gonna make the most of that and just kind of spend some time at home I do have quite a bit of content to edit as well as some uni work so I just thought I'd take the opportunity to unwind a little bit but also have some great focus while I'm there because you know sometimes living in Melbourne this city has always got something to offer and I find myself having slight FOMO because I'm not out there enjoying it anyway I think I might go get some lunch now too because I'm a little bit peckish there's a part of me that wants to go get myself a bowl of ramen or maybe I'll have ramen here we'll think about that <laughs> following day so I am back at my parents place so. it's the following day and I am back at my parents place which has been really nice I have been studying all day today I haven't really had much relief from the study but I've had a few weeks that I need to catch up on I've got another assessment due shortly as well so yeah that was for today I'm thinking I'm going to make some banana bread mum actually requested that I make something uh, because we have heaps of bananas here She's like, Alan, do you want to make some banana bread? There's more nuts. <laughs> so we're going to do that. Um, I'm actually not feeling that great. And I think it's because that today I have eaten ramen and chocolate and coffee. Which sounds so bad now that I'm saying it now, but I'm paying the price for not eating healthy today. But it was just convenient and I was just craving like ramen with heaps of cheese on top. And then in the afternoon, I was like, let's have a coffee and some chocolate which was a fun little moment to like stop the study. But anyway, let's make some banana bread. Um, I am getting the recipe off, I'll show you. This is the recipe that I'm using for the banana bread. It's Sally's Baking Recipes and it's her favorite banana bread. It's had 2,640 comments, which is insane, but it looks really good, I'm excited. Yeah, look at that, look at that, yum. <laughs> That I hate doing is lining the tin with baking powder but today I don't think we've got any baking powder so I'm just going to use some butter with some plain flour so you kind of grease the whole dish then you pop a little bit of flour and you tuck it around and then that creates like your El Naturel baking paper so I told the world I need a break like a drum roll uh, plus you got enough soul, I speak in my tongue goes a mile a minute and mind your eye didn't we already crossed paths before now you grin and I don't even need a big ass smile you got an attitude but that's your style maybe if I could get up in your latitude somehow then we could put the past back where it belongs for now Ow. I used to 
punch the clock, taking lunches in the box, crunching numbers while I make it to the top. I've been fronting, I ain't even had a weekend. I forgot, got heat. I need a drop if I'ma ever get up and out of this spot. God, Fridays are so so, Sundays I'm low those, Mondays are fun, crushes like cold flow. Girl, you keep me up like no those, you know those. You my southern comfort like so cold, you yo go. Of course I left an absurd amount in the bowl. I could probably make like another cupcake with the amount that I've left. But I don't know about you guys. Growing up I have like fond memories of mum making chocolate cake and I would always like lick the batters. And of course she'd leave more in the bowl so we could enjoy it as kids. So I don't really worry about the whole egg thing. I know some people um, really don't like it, but I don't know, it's such a core cool memory of my childhood. And I feel like when I have kids, they are going to be eating that chocolate cake better. It's important. <laughs> Hi guys, we are in car cam and it's the following day. I have been editing my second video of my Japan series this morning and it's going live tonight. I'm so excited to share you another video because I don't know, it's been a little while since I shared one. I think it's been about two weeks. I feel like you guys really love the first one. So I want to put another one out for you. But before all that, I am currently at the dentist. I go to my dentist in Ballarat as well as like my doctor and everything. And a few people say to me, why don't you just go in Melbourne? but I don't know a lot of my friends do it as well that live in Melbourne like come home to go see their their dentist and their doctor that they've seen for like since they were born in saying that this is actually a new one for me it's only my second visit here I started going to them last year and I'm just having like a yearly checkup so we're going to go um, and see them and then I'm going to pick up a sandwich before heading to my brother's place he is working from home today and I don't know I'm just going to annoy him basically so <laughs> yeah I went and picked up a salad sandwich from Pat's and as you can see, it looks absolutely amazing. So they've used sourdough bread and a full like traditional sandwich. Australia, in Australia, they're really good at making sandwiches, especially a salad sandwich. It's just like something you grew up on and oh my God, I'm like salivating right now. <laughs> I'm really hungry as well. Had my teeth done. They said they were great. There was no issues. So they just did, you know, like a checkup and then they did a clean as well. She said, do you drink coffee? And I'm like, no. She removed all those coffee stains that kind of happen. It's like almost like a film that goes over the teeth. I thought I would give you a little bit of a sneak peek of Emo's place. His house is incredible. I am honestly jealous because it's just so cool. A lot of furniture he picked up on Facebook Marketplace and is just amazing that he found so many great gems. Out here was Facebook marketplace table as well. It's a really large coffee table. I absolutely love the size of it. It's intended to be an outdoor table, but I think it works so well in this space. The gem of the room is definitely this chair. This chair used to be in an old bank in the 1960s and was only $200. And we had this little area custom made as well. So the cushion is custom made and I really love like the stripe feature. It kind of makes it a little bit warmer, a little bit more old fashioned, but in a good way. I think now the style of furniture tends to be very minimal. So in people's homes, it tends to be very much on the beige uh, color scheme, but I'm loving how Emerson has added in pops of color and ones that like, you know, you've got red over here, you've got gold on the rug, which I'll show you shortly, but also kind of all works together in some way. So, yeah, no, you have nailed this.
from Melbourne and I just picked myself up a coffee from Bench on the way home from work um, as well as like this little macaroon thing that they make it is so incredible it's almost like it's not like a normal macaroon I think they call it macaron you know how there's like a difference between the two but it's just so delicious I always go for the vanilla one mmm mmm it's so delicious honestly I also just picked something up from Camilla Remark as well and I love the color and I've had my eye on it for a while but generally make the purchase because I'm like, do I want this? Do I not? But one of my friends showed me a picture of this like influencer wearing it or like creator. And she looked absolutely amazing. And she dressed it down with like a little tank um, and just some like kitten heels. I'm like, that is very cute. Um, I would normally see it as something quite formal, but I love how she was like, no, I'm going to wear this cute little lace skirt out. So I'll show you that after this. I might even shoot some content as well, but the light is going down quickly. It is winter. Yeah. Hmm. So this is the Camilla Mark purchase. Yay. It is absolutely stunning. So it is a skirt that sits slightly drop waist as well, but it has like this gorgeous little hem on the bottom and I'm just absolutely in love with it. So let's style this up because I've also got, I also have some pieces from Charles and Keith. This one is gifted, so just so you guys are aware as well. I will be doing a really big Charles and Keith video, which I have, I think, mentioned in another one vlog but I might just style it with this one so this one comes in a special box because it is part of I don't know what the collection is called but most of the pieces are leather they've really stepped it up even more and just given you the option if you wanted something that's even more quality and this one is so cute the size of it is so perfect but let me take off some of this packaging how do I get that off so this is the bag, by the way, and it's finished form. So you can have a crossbody, like longer strap, so it lengthens down, or you pull this one and it shortens. Very cool. Absolutely love it. Yeah. Like, I'm not tall enough. Yeah, so cute. See? <laughs> Guys, I absolutely love this fit. Now I know it kind of looks like, now on camera it kind of looks a little bit too much, but it's actually so cute together. I do wish that this cardigan was a little bit smaller so it sat up like a little bit higher on my hips and gave me a bit more shape. But apart from that, it's so cute. I've got the little Charles and Keith bag there. And then these shoes are from Tony Bianco, which I purchased oh, two seasons ago now. And I absolutely love them. I don't wear them often, but when I do wear them, I'm like, I love these shoes. But how cute is like the little fringing at the bottom there. And then, yeah. guys let's just do a quick OOTD it is the following day and I'm heading back to Ballarat for my nephew's birthday I think he is turning three it's either three or four I can't remember because little Charlie has his, had his birthday recently as well so I get confused but he's still really little he's not at school just yet but this is my outfit it is really casual really fun a little bit elevated as well and I think this little top kind of makes it a bit special this top is from Fabric which is the store in the basement of Emporium but I think because it's off the shoulder it definitely does dress it up quite a bit these jeans you saw previously in the vlog as well these are from H&M and I am so aware that they're so baggy but I'm just loving like the coolness of them they're like the perfect width I'm obsessed this little bag this is a direct dupe of the Bottega Jody bag I think it is this one's from Anthropology, and I absolutely love it I'm definitely considering buying a Jody bag in future the thing about the Anthropology bag just so you're aware it's in US prices so when you buy the product it's more expensive than what it seems. I think for me, it cost me about $200 for this bag. Also as well, it's made with a synthetic leather and I found it stretch quite a bit in the shoulder. As you can see, there's like heaps of, sorry, I'm not holding the camera straight. As you can see, there's like heaps of gap through here, which is kind of annoying that it has stretched, but um, it still looks really cool and I'm still going to use it. My shoes are really special as well. These ones are from Charles and Keith. They are giving me acne vibes with the pointed toe and the silver hardware. 
Again, I really love these shoes. I went for a size 36, but I think possibly I need a size 37 in Charles and Keith because I think they run a little bit small. But yeah, guys, let's get moving. I like honestly have to get moving. My train leaves in like half an hour, so bye. <laughs> sleepy but I think I'm hungry um so I've just ordered Uber Eats I've ordered fish bowl via Uber Eats and I'm kind of feeling like salad you know when you're just like craving some freshness so that is on its way but in the meantime before it arrives because in Melbourne Uber Eats takes like two years to arrive which annoys me quite greatly <laughs> but anyway to tie me over I have one of my favorite Chobani fit protein yogurts you guys already know that I love these so much yeah just so yummy But the train ride was good. I just read my book. It was packed because a lot of people come into the city. So it was so busy. But I managed to get a seat and I just sat there with my book and like cozied up to the wall. <laughs> um, and yeah. And then I caught a train to my place from Southern Cross. Sorry guys, I'm a little bit sleepy. I'm just like ready for bed I think but I'm hungry I haven't really eaten much today I've kind of been grazing like I didn't really have a full breakfast the lunch I had like half a sandwich and a shortbread then I had some food at Simon's place and some cake but not really like a substantial meal so I'm ready for fish bowl. yay <laughs> okay this is a salad and I know it looks so basic but it is honestly one of the best things it looks like a whole pile of leaves but I swear it's not there's like chicken in there and enamane beans um, the stuff on the top is like that uh, seaweed salad and then they have crispy onions. Yum. <laughs> I think I'm gonna finish this vlog here because I am so sleepy and ready to hop into bed. I'm just gonna have a hot shower and I think I might watch a little bit of Netflix. I have read a lot today, so I'm feeling like I just need to shake it up a little bit. Just watch some TV. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed just seeing like some little bits of my week because generally I film like an entire day or it will be like my Japan style where I'm like traveling to heaps of different places. This week was just like, yeah, some things I got up to this week. To be honest, I'm kind of excited to edit it together because I think, I know you guys can probably relate, a week can go really quickly. And at the end of it, you can feel very exhausted and maybe even overwhelmed. But then looking back and you see everything that you got up to, you're like, wow, that was actually pretty good. <laughs> Alrighty guys, love you lots and I'll see you in the next one.